Hey, you guys. Welcome back to Crazy Quilt and Crafts with SCK. I hope everyone is doing well. All right, family. So, I finally got to my Barbie panel. You guys, I am so in love with this quilt top. So, if you guys been watching my channel, y'all already know I do a lot of show and tells for right now. Um, and also fabric hauls. So a couple of weeks back, I did a fabric haul um, from Hobby Lobby, which is the fabric that you see on the outside border. And um, I bought that fabric specifically for the Barbie. I've had these panels for a minute, and I thought that that would be an excellent border to add to the Barbie panel. So, let's talk about this Barbie right here. She is so dope. When I first seen it, I said, oh, God, I got to do a quilt. Top. I got to do a quilt. So, um, I had this for over a year. And I also did a fabric haul. Um, actually, I did the fabric haul that you see with the pink polka dot. I did that with the border, which is a Paris border. And I showed you guys how beautiful this fabric was. So let's come up close and see Barbie in Paris. So you guys already know, I cannot wait to bust out a couple of more of these. Now, the plan was when I got this fabric and this fabric, the plan was to actually put the pink and the inner border because the Barbie already had the black border. So, um, we all know that quilts do not go as planned. Now, when I do this all over again, this polka dot will be in here so that I can get the pink to flow a little bit better than what it's doing right now. Now, a lot of y'all might look at this quilt and say, I don't see anything wrong with that pink flowing on the outside. It is so gorgeous. But that was my thought in my brain my visual that was my visual so in order to um fulfill the lust of that visual <laughs> i will have to put that pink um on the inner border part of this panel now uh i was actually thinking about and you guys may say no you might want to leave that as is but i was thinking about bringing it out the uh, quilt top, bring it out even more to make it bigger with the pink because it will still help it to flow a little bit better than what it's doing right now. But as you look at it, I'm sure you guys will say, yeah, I get what you're saying, S.E.K., but it looks fine the way it is. And even if you did the next panel, it that will work as well. But I'm so in love with this. Now I'm trying to come up with other ideas on how to make uh, multiple um, quilt tops with this Barbie because she is so dope. I just, I just love the way this Barbie look. And um, when I seen the Paris fabric, I said, "Oh gosh, that would be so dope to have a Barbie in Paris quilt top." And I am so um, excited about how this came out. I'm very, very pleased with how this came out. Y'all know Essie don't even know what size this is. But this will probably be a great um, twin size or, or oversized throw because it is really big. And if I decide to go bigger, it will definitely um, have like an overdrop on a twin size um, bed. But super adorable. I can't wait to do this again. I have um, one more panel left. And I'm definitely going to be ordering more of this... Um, panel i did get this from fat quarter shop but i believe i also saw it on missouri quilt and co but if you just google barbie panels i'm sure you'll be able to find this but definitely on fat quarter shop and they always have um complimentary or um fabrics that kind of go together with whatever uh, pa panel that you're purchasing, you'll find something that will go really um, good with it. So, I'm trying to remember about this polka dot. Okay, so this polka dot actually goes to a Tula Pink collection. 
that's where this um the um black polka dot as i started cutting into this fabric i thought that i had brought it to make um some tabletops or uh, table runners and when i looked at it i said wait a second this this a tulip pink so this had to come in one of my collections um that i had in my stash and just can't remember exactly which tulip pink collection it is but we all know you can find black with white polka dot fabric pretty much uh anywhere so that is what you're seeing on the inner border and like i said what i liked about the panel is that it already had this small like i would say this is probably about an inch inch and a half um maybe two uh border around the panel and i'm not sure the size of the panel i will have to um definitely look it up so let's talk about the paris glitter fabric this is so 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 pretty oh man i'm so happy with how this turned out how this really went together perfectly so um this fabric i am not sure who is the maker of this fabric but let me tell y'all what i learned about um directional fabric what i had did was i had cut into my border fabric which is the paris fabric i cut it i cut into it uh vertically so that i can get the long strips on the sides to where they weren't choppy so um being that i did that i winded up with maybe two more long sheets of this to where i can definitely use this again but i will have to get more fabric because if you look closely I had to cut in a different direction in order to get the top part, which I had to block it. I had to do like 10 inch squares and I had to put them together. So if you really look closely, you can see the breakup of the, um, the towers, but that's okay. Sometimes things happen that way but i didn't really um fret about it i'm still pleased with the way it came out so make sure when you are cutting into directional fabric and you can see it here at the bottom make sure when you're cutting into your directional fabric you're getting the most of your fabric okay i don't feel like i lost any fabric in cutting the uh vertical way like I said, I still have a long strip to where I can do my left and my right side on my next panel. And also, I'm sure that I can get away with doing the same method that I did on the top as far as creating um, layer cakes, center squares, and just putting them together so that I don't waste any fabric. Uh, okay, so the plan is, and let me reiterate, we know that quilts don't go as planned. The plan is on the next one is to use this polka dot on the inner border. So this will be here. And again, I can't wait to get to it. So I know I have a busy weekend. So I probably will try to uh, conquer this uh, quilt top probably sometime next week. But you guys, definitely drop me a line. What kind of backing you think I should use? I'm thinking I should go with maybe a gray minky or the pink minky. So you guys, make sure y'all comment below and let me know what y'all thinking about the, the um, backing for this quilt top. All right, family? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I so enjoyed making this. Y'all can hear the excitement in my voice. I really, really love this quilt top. Make sure y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think of this quilt top. And let me know what backing should I use. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you guys on the next video. Happy crafting. Peace.